It's the liberation. Parts for the penis. It's the liberation, Taylor. Welcome back to the. <laughs> Champ. So we did some tutorial shit off camera because it's boring. See, if you gotta wait for it. You gotta make sure it's full circle. So we're gonna get closer. See, now it's green. Now you can do it. It's out La Two. There you go. La Two. My shoe. La Two. Skado. Also, you know how in Dark Souls 3, like, the bonfires are really close together? There's a lot of that in this game, where, like, the idols are really close together. Okay. Like, you just have one, like, oh, yeah. here's another one. Not that I'm complaining, it's just, you know, I feel funny. like you're complaining. No, I, I like, I, the more idols, the better. You can now instantly travel. Isn't that great? Why would you want to travel 50 feet away? So now you have your first area to properly explore. And this is like the game proper. And how it starts. Starts. What you? <laughs> you go sugar. <coughs> Temporarily reduces vitality damage taken from physical attacks. So that just basically increases your defense. Okay. For a very, very short amount of time. I, I typically don't use those a whole lot because they only work for like 30 seconds, if that. They're not, they don't last Is right that long. a man? That's a man. He's about to see you. So now you can zip, zam, and zoom all over the place with your grappling hook. Wherever there's a green circle, you can grapple. You can perform stealth death blows on opponents unaware of your presence. The plunging death blow is one of these. Perform a leaping at an unaware enemy from high ground. Lock on, jump, and then plunge. It is actually pretty sweet. There's that sucker. I think it'd be closer. Grapple back up there and do it. Yeah, grapple up. Oh, sorry. I was hitting the wrong button. La two. La two. There you go. Now do it. No, run and jump at him. Like you gotta jump towards him. This dude is so unaware. <laughs> so yeah, like run and jump. There you go. There it is. There it be. Oh! That actually rips it out. Mm hmm. Enemies drop loot, such as items and money. Multiple enemies can be looted at once, and some from distance away. Items found in the world are different than loot in that they must be approached to be picked up. Press and hold square to acquire loot and press square near an item to pick it up. So if you hold it, you, know, you see you got 11 monies. 11 monies? So it's kind of weird, like you don't actually just automatically get the shit they drop until you do it. I don't think I can make that. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so like that actual item, like you have to just walk up and pick up. Yeah, I mean, pretty self-explanatory. Yeah. Whoa, I'm up on a tree now. Oh, oh shit! shit. <laughs> I'll read that later. Ceramic shard. They're basically just used yeah. like you can um, distract enemies by throwing Ooh. them. Like you can lure enemies away and stuff. It's kind of like the pebble from... Uh, um, Dark sizzles from uh, Bloodborne. Like you can just throw a pebble at them and lure enemies. I got the Shinobi vacuum. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Have you come to fuck? I parried you. Oh my neck! What neck? I like that they slowly die on the ground. <laughs> The, the, okay, if there's one negative thing I can say about this game is you can't kick around bodies like you could in the Souls games. <laughs> That's the one thing I don't like, is you can't kick around the bodies. Like, they still ragdoll, and, like, if you do a death blow, like, on a cliff, like, they could still fall <clears throat> off of it. But, um, yeah, there's no, no, you can't kick around the bodies like you could before. That's the biggest disappointment, is that... This isn't so hard. No, I think you already got the... Like, you understand how the game works pretty well already. <clears throat> it's just like, you know... You'll you'll be put to the test when you actually have, like, a boss or a mini-boss to fight. That's where the shit gets crazy. It's like a fucking Dragon Ball Z fight every time. Dragon Ball! Dragon Ball! 
Dragon Ball Z. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I like how you have to hit a button to grab ledges too. Like I don't know, I like that. Oh fuck! <laughs> hey, did you just see your friend fucking die? Your turn. So yeah, you're doing you're doing a fantastic job. I'm glad you get it. That makes me very happy. Oh, puppy! So the, the puppies, you can actually parry them too. Like if, like when they leap at you, if you time it right, like you can parry them and do a death blow to them. See, you, bitch. Like more or less, every enemy in the game can be parried in some way. Fistful, Fistful of, of ashes, ashes, dust to dusty. I know Mr. Tom is crusty. That's how the song goes, right? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. You know, Ashes to Ashes, David Bowie. David Bowie? David Bowie. Wow. Is that on uh, Station to Station or something? Yeah. <laughs> yeah is that the is that the opening track on that or something? Uh, yes, it is. I have I have that record. I have that album. Funk too funky. We know major time so funky junky. Spelunky brass monkey strung out on. <laughs> what? Oh, Was that the lyric? Is that the lyric? <laughs> yeah, that's the lyric. <laughs> well, look, another idol already. Wow. See, Come these in. fuckers are all over the goddamn place. Is that puppy? That's puppies. Is that puppy? Yeah, puppy! Oh, fuck! <laughs> Tickly. <laughs> Hi, if, puppy! If you usually feel bad about killing dogs, but these are like feral wolves, so yeah. fuck it. <laughs> yeah, I don't need that shit in my life. <laughs> yeah, right. Whee! What's in here? Dead man. Sure can wheel. Oh, yeah, if you take that back to the sculptor, you can get a... That's a tool that you can use. Oh. So if you want, you can travel back to him. <clears throat> yeah, see? Fitting prosthetic tools. Shinobi tools can't be used on their own. By giving them to the sculptor, they can be fitted to the Shinobi prosthetic. You can quickly <laughs> return to the sculptor via travel from a sculptor's idol or by using the homer idol. Yeah, if you use that homer idol that's in your inventory, you can go back there without having to visit another one. Okay, cool. I'm so, not going to, but... I use the shuriken quite a bit, actually. Is it bad? No, you can upgrade it later. Oh, okay. Like, it's good for luring out enemies and stuff like that. So that guy down there, the guy down there, I don't know if you saw him. Yeah, I see him. That's the dude that gave, me, that gave me a fucking hard-ass time the first time I played this game, but I think it was just because I didn't understand how to fight him, or like the moves as much. Why did I just murder the fuck out of a chicken? I don't know. He so, didn't even give me anything. So one, so one thing, too, I just want to throw it out there. Like, if you lure that dude out, or, like, even if you go on the buildings up behind him, like, you can do a, a, a stealth death blow on that guy, and he's a mini-boss. So you have to death blow him twice. Okay. But I'm just letting you know that certain mini-bosses, you can sneak up on them in an RD. Like, if you want to make it easier, like, you can sneak up on them and then um, get a free death blow on them. Which is what I did, because I didn't really understand how this game worked at the time. So, like, yeah, if you either leap at him or whatever, you can get a free one. Yeah, so here's what I was talking about. The perilous so attacks. Unguardable perilous thing. The dangerous symbol when they use occur. Watch carefully and try to respond properly as each type of kind of... Thrust air. Ugh. So, yeah, he can grab and he can <coughs> do the sweeps. There's also another counter move that you can get for thrusts, but that's not till later. But it's really helpful for, for deflecting thrusts. Like, you can do more posture damage with this other counter type than thrusts. So. Okay. But we'll get that later. But the big one is the sweep, the sweep, sweep attacks. Sweep one, yeah, jump. Like I said, when you jump, you can also stun him by doing the kick in the air. It's really, really helpful. Um, and I didn't know that for the longest time, so I'm just kind of giving you that option here. So this dude killed me a fuck ton of times. Because I just, I just don't think I understood the game. So, pick your shots. Pick your shots and, like like I said, um, yeah, we already know that. Uh, and deflect a lot is really the big thing. Like, he's probably not going to be that hard if you deflect him. So, yeah, the sweeps you can't guard against, nor can you deflect them. Oh, my nose. 
So this is a good opportunity for you to learn how to do the resurrect mechanic. Resurrect goo. Loyal will take my blood and live again. No. Yes! Yes! So the mechanic in this game is that when you die, you can resurrect. Only one time, though. Well, actually, you can do it up to two, two times, at, but, like, I don't know, they'll say right here. The Divine Heir's blood grants the ability to return from the dead using resurrective power. One charge is always restored by resting at a sculpture's <laughs> idol. Killing enemies and killing enemies restores additional charges. Resurrection becomes unusable immediately after using it, but killing enemies will make it available again. So you can't just die twice and then come back like you have to kill enemies or deal damage in order to see how it's got that black thing down above your health bar. Yeah. So you have to do like another death blow or kill enemies in order for you to use that second charge, but it's not even charged up anyway. Wow, so. But at least that shows you how that works. Okay. So just because you die in an enemy doesn't necessarily mean that you're dead for good, so that's cool. Now I can get the Shadowkin. Shadowkin. I think it's gonna be at, it's gonna be at the you're gonna be at that one that was right there because it yeah, was the last commune one. I can always just go back. Experience towards the next skill point and current sin and hand are halved upon death. Everything is lost. Everything lost is gone for good. There are no known means to escape this loss. However, through the grace of the gods or Buddha, it may not be impossible. Now, what that means? Go to the idol. I like talk like commune with the idol. There's that percentage unseen aid thirty percent. You have a thirty percent chance if you die to not lose anything. Oh. Do I have to go back to my body or No, you can't get your shit back. It just get like it'll just say unseen aid and you won't lose anything. So you don't you don't go collect anything. Like you can't go collect your old okay. shit in in this game. Like you just lose it uh, permanently. So yeah, there's not like a like a collect your souls type mechanic in this game. You just lose it and then but there's a 30% chance that you won't. So, I really wouldn't worry about it too much. Oh, see, so he's got new training options. Hey, baby. You truly returned from the dead. Hello. The power of the dragon's blood. I never thought I'd see it with my own eyes. Morning. Do you want the keys? My name is Emma, which is the most Japanese name ever. Yep. Forgive me, but for his safety, I cannot reveal his identity. However, my master gave explicit orders to, to fuck everyone. <laughs> I can. He used very explicit <laughs> words like God! <laughs> God! 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 Whoa. <laughs> she created the medicinal gourd, whatever. So you, you made a gourd. That's not that's not magic. Yeah, but it refills. Present it. Yes. It was intended for Lord Kuro. Right? He's the little boy. Trusted it to you. I'm sure you may have noticed, but the medicinal waters in this board spring forth on their own. Even after being empty, you will find it full again after a short rest. Yes. Is there a way to improve it? What the fuck do you mean, improve it? She just gets really petty. Yes. <laughs> so if you get gourd seeds, you bring them to her and then she can make it so you get more Estes, basically. Okay. You mean gourd juice. More more gourds. Juice. Yeah. But I'm just I'm putting it into the terms that make sense. No! Yeah, I'm right, it's right here. This white mark, is it a birthmark? No. Then, that must be it appears on those who have received the dragon's heritage. Or perhaps, it's a symptom. I have AIDS. Yes. I'm rapidly aging. I'm just the right on, the half of, on the right half of my body. <laughs> so it kind of sucks that I got my, I didn't get my right hand cut off, right? Hello, Sup, dog. I found one. A shinobi tool. Yes, I said before that your prosthetic arm is a fang. But how dare you talk to me that way? Shinobi tools to your own. Thick shields break them into splinters. Swift foes bring them down from afar. Fitting more devices means more waste. If there's someone that needs killing, 
There's a proper way. That's all there is. Mm. The more I speak of bloodshed, the more demonic my sculptures will be given here. Alright. Do it. Present fit. <clears throat> that one. That one. Lotted shivakening. So you hit Ratu and then you throw a Shiruku. A Shiruku? Yeah. Thanks, so. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna search for more Shinobi tools next time on Chin Strap Chaps. It's exciting stuff, people. Mm-hmm.